first, fair, accurate. From our newsrooms in Eugene, Roseburg, and Coos Bay, KVAL News starts now. President Barack Obama landed in Eugene today, and tonight we recap his trip to Oregon and speak to those affected by his visit. Good evening, I'm Katie LaSalle. Thank you for joining us here this Friday night. President Obama visited the families of the victims of the Umpqua shooting in Roseburg today. KVAL's David Walker has been there all day long, and he watched as President Obama landed in Roseburg this afternoon. And David, some very difficult circumstances for the president to visit. Tell us more about what you've seen there today. Well, it has been a long day, Katie, and of course we have had our reporters in Eugene at the airport when the president landed there aboard Air Force One. He quickly shuttled via Marine One here to Roseburg, and since early this morning, Roseburg has been ready for his visit. Uh, there were protesters here, there were people welcoming the president. It has been a very busy day in Roseburg, but the focus, of course, has been on the victims of the UCC shootings and on their families, the real purpose of the president president's visit here to Roseburg. Now, after the president landed here at the Roseburg airport, he quickly jumped into the motorcade and headed just a few miles away to Roseburg High School, where he met the families of the victims, and Kristen Goodwillie was there. The entrance to Roseburg High School was closed off this morning and cones were put out blocking lanes on Harvard Avenue. At 11 a.m., families started pulling into the back entrance of the high school where their cars underwent full security sweeps with canines. The president's motorcade arrived at exactly 1239, about an hour after families arrived here at Roseburg High School. Since the president's visit wasn't a public one, no one knew where he would meet with the victims' families. But those who did guess the high school said despite their political views, seeing the president is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I saw a whole bunch of police cars and then I saw a limo with Barack Obama in it and then I got all excited. It's under horrible, horrible circumstances, but uh, it's pretty exciting. So what is that like? What is going through your mind right now? Um, it's my birthday, <laughs> and it's the best birthday present ever. The president met with the victim's families for about an hour before leaving. When the motorcade left, people clapped and shouted thank you. Reporting in Roseburg, I'm Kristen Goodwillie. And as the president uh, had that visit with the families before he left, he had a chance to spend a little bit of time with the first responders, some of those who rushed to the Umpqua Community College campus right after the shootings and had a hand in helping uh, out the situation there. He also talked with some of the leaders of Umpqua Community College, later flanked by Oregon Governor Kate Brown and Roseburg Mayor Larry Rich. President Obama gave some remarks in the courtyard at Roseburg High School. Uh, I, I'm going to be very brief here. I just want to, first of all, say thank you to Mayor Rich. I want to thank Governor Brown. Uh, most importantly, I want to thank uh, the entire community and the entire state of Oregon for coming together uh, at this terrible time uh, to support the families. I just had a chance to talk to him. Uh, obviously, uh, in moments like these, words aren't, uh, aren't going to bring their loved ones back. But the one thing that they share is how much they appreciate the entire UCC community coming together, how much they appreciate uh, all their neighbors, all their friends, and people all across the country who offered to help, said their thoughts and their prayers. Uh, and what I just told the mayor is that if there's anything that we can do at the federal level uh, to help the community uh, heal from this loss, uh, obviously we're going to be there. And I know that uh, flying out here with uh, some of the members of the Oregon delegation, they feel the same way. And uh, the governor uh, obviously has been uh, paying a lot of attention to how we can uh, be most helpful to the families. So, uh, there are going to be, I think, moments uh, as we go forward uh, where we're going to have to come together and figure out how do we stop things like this from happening. Uh, and you know, I've got some very strong feelings about this because uh, when you talk to these families, uh, you're reminded 
uh, that this could be happening to your child, uh, or your mom, or your dad, or your, uh, your relative, or your friend. Uh, and so, you know, we're going to have to come together as a country uh, to see how we can prevent these issues from taking place. Uh, but today, it's about the families, and, uh, their grief, and the love we feel for them. And, uh, they surely do appreciate uh, all the support that they've received. An emotional scene at Roseburg High School today, the president meeting with the families of those victims. Even as the president was arriving here in Roseburg today, a memorial service was getting underway for Lucero Alcarez, one of the victims of the shootings here in Roseburg. We understand funerals and memorial services have been set now for eight of the nine victims of the shooter. Cena Sleep was at the Douglas County Fairgrounds today for that service. I'm in Roseburg for the memorial of Lucero Alcaraz. She's one of the victims of the UCC shooting. The message today, loud and clear, is we are UCC strong. Hundreds showed up at the Douglas County Fairgrounds to show their support to the family of Lucero. Yeah, I didn't know Lucero, but I, I hopped in my car and drove down from Eastern Oregon University to stand with my community and show Lucero's family and all the others I can attend that I love you and I am here for you. The 19-year-old wanted to become a pediatric nurse. She was a hard worker. On Lucero's sister's Facebook page, Maria Alcaraz writes that Lucero had college paid completely through scholarships, and she made it into college honors. She also says Lucero was a great artist and loved to draw. The community echoing the family's despair, an innocent life taken too soon. This community was so devastated because of this, never thinking anything like that would ever happen here. People from all over Oregon, people who didn't know Lucero, all lined up outside the fairgrounds with American flags and homemade signs. We're very supportive of our community and the people who live in it. I didn't know the family. However, I want to show my love and support to the family for their loss and to our community. And Roseburg is a very strong community. Many of the people I spoke with told me they plan on attending as many of the victims' memorials as possible. In Roseburg, Cena Slim reporting. As President Barack Obama made his way to Roseburg this morning, protesters, hundreds of them, were already gathering here. They were not happy with the president's appearance here in Roseburg. Much has been made of that in the news around the nation this week. They were also here to oppose the president's stance on gun control. Sarah Madison talked with some of those protesters. These demonstrators line the street near the airport, protesting against gun control and against President Barack Obama's visit to Roseburg. You know, the bodies weren't even cold. He's up there stumping, uh, you know, for gun control. Uh, it, it, was, it was disgusting. Well, if we don't have the support, who's going to stand for you when you need it? Everybody needs to be supporting everybody. We need to be abiding by our constitution and so should our leaders and we have one coming today that is not. This area is salt of the earth farmers and ranchers and timber people and uh, hunters and fishermen and to jeopardize that and politicize pain is really disgusting and disrespectful. One of the largest protest groups, Defend Oregon Deny Barack Obama, used Facebook to ask thousands of people to join them in their Roseburg protest. Organizers expected to see about 2,000 show up. The group was encouraged to protect their Second Amendment rights. If someone carries on a regular basis, if you go to the store and you open carry or conceal carry, that's fine. We don't want someone to carry specifically for this. As for the small group of counter protesters, they showed up to support the president's visit. Yeah, I wanted to support him and let him know he's welcome here. Not with those people over there. <laughs> okay. We were raised no matter what your views were politically that you support who your officials are. With the 2016 presidential election around the corner, it's likely we'll be hearing more about the gun control issue. In Roseburg, Sarah Madison reporting. It was about 2 o'clock this afternoon when 
the president's motorcade arrived back here at the Roseburg Airport. They were not on the ground long. He left the motorcade, got on board Marine One, and it was only a matter of minutes before it was wheels up as they headed back to the airport in Eugene. KVAL's Kelly Anderson was there this morning. In fact, uh, most of the day as the president landed aboard Air Force One, and she has a look at President Obama's busy travel schedule today in Oregon. This massive bird behind me is Air Force One. President Barack Obama and his staff flew in from D.C. on this plane and landed right here at Eugene Airport. It started out as a quiet morning at Eugene Airport on Friday. Three Marine Corps helicopters waited for the president to arrive. Secret Service agents and special forces stood by on this high security occasion. And then the roar of Air Force One. The president arrived at about 1130, accompanied by Senators Jeff Merkley, Ron Wyden, and Representative Peter DeFazio. I personally uh, really appreciate that he's coming here to, to connect with these families. Waiting for the president at the bottom of the steps was Mayor Kitty Piercy. When asked what the president might say to the families of the UCC victims, she said, I don't have any idea except I think when I look at his face, when we talk about this, I think that's what he's going to be. He's going to be very human and be very concerned for the well-being of the families and express his grief that they have lost people that they care deeply about or poor people are injured that they care very deeply about. The president hopped into Marine One and took off with his fleet of helicopters called the Osprey. It was a short trip, less than three hours. He came back on Marine One and ducked into Air Force One, but not before waving goodbye. The next leg of the president's West Coast trip is Seattle, where he'll be attending several political fundraisers. In Eugene, I'm Kelly Anderson reporting. A presidential visit, something that uh, many never see, and when you do, it is quite impressive. The organization that is required and just how large of an operation it is. We'll have more on the historic Air Force One. It's coming up as our coverage continues of President Obama's trip to Oregon. David, thank you so much. We appreciate you being out in Roseburg all day long, and we'll get back to you in just a few minutes. Clearly, a very busy day throughout Western Oregon, and we'll continue our coverage here on KVAL News and hear from more people supporting the president's visit. That's coming up. But first, people of all ages came out today to see Air Force One. We talked to those gathered at the Eugene Airport earlier today. That's coming up after the break. First, fair, accurate. You're watching KVAL News. President Obama's touchdown in Eugene this morning was very brief as he quickly got off the plane and onto Marine One, where he flew here to Roseburg, where he met with the families of the victims of the UCC shootings. As Tom Adams found out today in Eugene, Air Force One was the co-star of the show. Making a rare appearance in Eugene, Air Force One brought the president and his party to the airport on Friday. A lot of folks came early to try to get a bird's eye view. Very excited. The president coming in such a big plane. So. The young and not so young gathered at the fence behind the LCC flight school on Friday more than two hours before the president's arrival. I'm going to see a friend take a picture for my school show and tell. I got to see Hillary Clinton years back when I was younger. Um, arrive in Eugene, so I thought I want the same experience for him to be able to remember it. Another young man claims he got the day off from school just to see the huge presidential carrier. I was especially looking forward to seeing the giant F-47, F-747, and it's fun. I love planes. I wish it was better circumstances, but I think it's good to no part of you know, be talking to the families. Air Force One touched down at 1137 in the morning. Before boarding the Marine helicopter to Roseburg, the president was greeted by Eugene Mayor Kitty Piercy on the tarmac. Mayor Piercy says she tried to convey the community's sadness to the president on this Friday and also convey her personal appreciation for his visit to the state of Oregon. At the Eugene Airport, Tom Adams, KVAL News. Well, people of all ages turned out to try to get a glimpse of Air Force One and for some to actually get a glimpse of the president of the United States. A lot of people were lining the fences at the Eugene Airport today. And we have a report from Angelica Carrillo. 
the president touched down here at the Eugene Airport, dozens of people gathered for a chance to get a glimpse of the commander in chief. I wanted to get a, pic a picture for it from my school. I want to see him and shake his hand, but probably not. That's going to happen. This is a special day. Dozens of people gathered at the Eugene Airport, hundreds of yards away from where the president will land, hoping to snap a picture and watch the action. Air Force One landed and President Obama emerged, followed by Senators Ron Wyden and Jeff Merkley and Representative DeFazio. He was greeted by Eugene Mayor Kitty Piercy and quickly boarded Marine One to head to Roseburg. I said uh, welcome him to Eugene and on behalf of all of us thank him for coming to try to bring solace to the people of that state and the people of Roseburg. On the return flight, within seconds, the president made the switch to Air Force One before waving goodbye to the cameras. It's pretty impressive <laughs> to be able to see Marine One, the Ospreys. It was loud, but yet cool. I didn't want to plug my ears or else I'll, I'll not be listening to all that action. And while Marcus didn't get to shake the hand of the president like he was hoping, he did get a special gift from the Secret Service. I was going to look at the plane and they saw me and I guess I was too. I was so fancied up that uh, they decided, well, he's fancy. It looks like he could be, he could use a little coin. A small keepsake for this young American who camped out hours at the airport. Well, the president's uh, trip here in Roseburg ended shortly after 2 o'clock as he took off for the airport in Eugene and the trip on to Seattle. We'll have more coming up this evening on KVAL News. For now, from Roseburg, back to you in the studio, Katie. Thank you so much, David. And still to come, we'll hear from Representative Peter DeFazio, who was on the flight from Washington, D.C. to Eugene this morning with the president. Also coming up on KVAL News at 5, the Cougars defense sacked Marcus Mariota seven times last year. Well, how do they plan to change that this year? Sky Muller will have that and more still ahead in KVAL Sports. And not a drop of rain for the president's visit today, but we will see some rain tomorrow. I'll tell you when it'll start coming up next. Welcome back. Traveling with President Obama to Eugene today were members of Oregon's congressional delegation. The group included Senators Ron Wyden and Jeff Merkley, along with 4th District Congressman Peter DeFazio. They briefly met with reporters after the president left for Roseburg on Marine One. Clear, you know, he feels uh, an obligation as the president of the United States, representing the office of president of the United States, uh, to come uh, to Oregon and, and meet uh, with the families who wish to meet with them, plain and simple. Senator Merkley said during the flight, Obama expressed how painful but important it was for him to connect with the affected families today at Roseburg High School. And as you've heard throughout the show, the response to President Barack Obama's visit to Roseburg was mixed. We interviewed some Roseburg residents who did not want the president in the city. However, not everyone felt that way, especially the Democratic Party of Douglas County. Lorna Hayden, chair of the county's Democratic Party, says that she's received calls calls all week from Roseburg residents looking forward to the presidential visit. She says she feels the anti-Obama protests that happened today took away from the real meaning of his visit. Who, who's getting attention out of this? Who's trying to get attention? Are these people who have this hateful message? And I just think it's a very wrong thing at this time and, and for our county and for our people. Hayden told us at their November fundraiser, the Democratic Party of Douglas County plans to sign a card and send it to the president, thanking him for his visit to Roseburg. You can head to our website, kval.com, for more reactions to President Obama's visit. And at the Roseburg airport today, both protesters and supporters were there, some specta spectators saying they were happy the president was visiting. We were approached by numerous people who wanted to express their appreciation for the presidential visit. Obama hasn't been in the city of Roseburg since 2008. One woman who we spoke with has worked at Mercy Hospital for 28 years. And she says she was there the day of the shooting and supports Obama coming to town. Then this was such a traumatic thing for this little town. Uh, their reaction is probably normal, but I just feel like you should still support and respect our president. 
The opinions shared at the airport varied widely today, but everyone was passionate about what the presidential visit meant to them. And we'll have more on community reaction coming up tonight on KVAL News at 6. Welcome back. We will have continuing coverage on President Obama's visit to Oregon today coming up at 6 o'clock. But first, let's send it back out to David Walker in Roseburg. David, it has been a very busy and very emotional day there today. A very long day, Katie, and we have been here to follow the president from when he landed in Eugene through his trip here to Roseburg and the visit with the families of the victims of the UCC shooting and then his return trip to Eugene before he left Oregon after the brief visit. We'll have more on the president's trip to Oregon. It's coming up on KVAL News at 6. Thank you so much, David. We'll also have your full sports report with Sky Muller coming up at 6. And Travis, you're saying, hey, it's Friday. The weekend's coming. We have a little bit of rain in store. We do. We have actually a good amount of rain coming in tomorrow. Looks like tomorrow morning a lot of us will wake up to some still dry conditions across the area. But rain should begin for Western Oregon around the noon hour. So I'm thinking the Ducks game at 3 o'clock. Bring the rain gear with you. That might be a sound idea. Okay. And then sunny in 70s. We'll take that. Yes. All right, thank you so much, and thank you for joining us here for KVAL News at 5. We'll see you back here again at 6 o'clock.